from Seminole Hard Rock in Hollywood, Florida. This is Poker Night in America. Welcome to Poker Night in America. Day two begins here at Seminole Hard Rock in Hollywood, Florida. I'm Chris Hansen with Joe Stapleton. Coming up on today's show, Phil Hellmuth captains the table like stubing on the love boat. Woohoo! I don't have to be the bad guy. He also talks about Charity for the better part of an hour, which is weird because I didn't know he also knew her. Hey, Charity. Day two buy-ins go from 5,000 for Phil Hellmuth to 25,000 for Phil Locke. <laughs> Blake Bone. Actually, it's Bonds. Like, Auto Bond. I prefer to call it the Auto Bone. <laughs> I'm sure you would. Let's get to the poker from Seminole Hard Rock. 2550 are the blinds. Michael Lockie, not to be confused with Phil Locke, immediately to his right, raises with sevens. That's Alec Locke <laughs> to his left. And this is Josh Lockie. And we'll finish things up here with. Asher Lock, if. <laughs> Asher Kadiff won the WPT championship, and the two guys to his right were both November Niners. I won't spoil it for you which one of these two November Niners doing, wins it. It's Joe. What we've been doing is uh, sort of with Tilt really just 200 dead from the big blind. This that is way looking like an action table. That's what we did the other two. I don't know, what are you saying? You're, you're anting every hand now from no, the big blind? No, just one person, the big blind. Three yeah, players to this everybody. flop, 2600 in the middle. We've they switched the it because they found that. Now everybody's got a pair. Because I don't know, did I switch it to the wrong way? It was one of the two yeah, and they did it. Yeah, you switch it to the wrong way, yeah. Be a shocker, Phil, you'd switch something. You'd get something in your complex right, mind. Like, <laughs> you have so many details, like layers you know, of may, details. I may have gotten it wrong. One of them's more efficient, and I remember solving it and then forgetting the answer. So Buttons I just more efficient is what we decided. But... OK. So honestly, I didn't really, I was just guesswork, you know. We can switch it. Like, there's got to be like a way to switch it to the button at some point. You right? just do the orbit and then switch it. Yeah. That's the solution right there. It's an elegant solution. Because then you could you have the right to reserve it to switch it back if we did a double switch back inception move, Phil Helmut and I not knowing where we were. So we could Beckley makes two pair on the turn, but Torelli Phil picks Helmut. up the flush draw. Where did Jessica Dolly go? Because she brought up a very interesting thing. She said, Phil Helmuth on every show disappears for an hour. We don't know where he goes. Where does he go? Does he go and talk to an astronomer? Does he go for a drive? Does he get a haircut? Does he go for a run? Does he go to his room, take a nap? What is he doing? He has to keep feeding yeah. his meter. It's true, though. He refuses to pay for parking in the garage. It used to be workouts and naps. Now it's like just discussing the flow of people talking and that kind of thing with the producers. <laughs> this show has producers. Like, Come on. I don't want to tilt myself and tell people to like be quiet anymore, so I have to discuss with the producers. What am I supposed to do? Oh, right. Yeah, this, that. Yep. Yeah. 1300 from Torelli. I'm completely untilted now because people are going to talk over people. I don't want to be the bad guy anymore, and the show's going to pay the price. They're going to use less episodes, but I don't want to say anything anymore, so I'm <laughs> off the hook. <laughs> Woohoo! Thanks for letting me off the hook. I don't have to be the bad guy. This is amazing. Phil is trying to stop people from talking over him by saying that the show might get canceled if they do. Look, I'm talking over you, Phil. The show's doing just fine. How much off the hook? That's all I know. I'm looking at the producers right now, and not That's a single awesome. person is oh, nodding their head. Beckley calls. Here comes the river. Oh, and meanwhile, Alec has quietly gone right. runner, runner on Josh Beckley. Why'd you check the turn, Josh? What is that? That's all the bright checkers. It's like a peacock. It's all the checkers, not just the bright ones. This is a really tough spot for Beckley. Two pair is usually going to be the best hand. This isn't the worst board for two pair, but it's not the best either. Lots of things got there by the end, but the sick part is that this is exactly what Alec would do if you were bluffing also. Good lay down, Josh Beckley. Sometimes you just want your own time, I guess. Button's good. This is like... It was $350. I probably shouldn't have folded. I mean, like, a bunch but of salads. But it was not $350. Was. It was... Three fifty. It was yeah. tree fifty. <laughs> said it need about tree fifty. It was tree fifty. Just thought I was giving money away. Hi, Jessica on. Dolly. Hi. That's what I felt when I folded the one. You got enough money, you can give it away. Asher's got jacks. That's things you got to think about. Cold deck alert. Whoop whoop. She does love charity. I do love charity. You know, Jessica Dolly just right. said she loves charity. She can't love charity that much because she has not returned this, any of my phone calls. I'd be surprised, stunned, and proud of you if I didn't have the best hand right there. If you had a pair going into the river, you had way the best of it. What about the river? Less than best. 
A big raise to fifteen hundred from Michael Lockie. Wait, so you're saying you got there on the river? I don't know what your pair was. Um, you're you're hurting my feelings right now. <laughs> I may or may not have river to pair sixes. <laughs> you do love charity. You've been to at least two of my charity events. That's right. I did one at the Kentucky Derby. You yeah, were there. I was there. And then we did one in the Hamptons. Also Ooh. there. Ooh. We're living large. Ooh. 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 Can't Derby, Hamptons. 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 Derby Private was jets. my event. No, oh, private jets, yeah, we, we rode home private together jets, on the jet geez. with four aces on the tail. Is that <laughs> aces on the tail? Four, yeah, four aces, aces on the tail. So Sniff got like, rid of his jacks. Badass sure. jet. I mean, and now it's sure. up to Blake it's Bond. Been... Four back coming. Wow. Boom. You bluffed me. That's a re raise thing. I was bluffing. Right, that's more than 15 Two, three. I thought you would call. I've never folded the same. Unfortunately, I think this is gonna get two folds. The only problem with fast playing your aces is- oh, Never folded that hand? I'll take the over. Is that sometimes they fold. One, two, three. Or you can three, slow play them and Phil Lock can run you down like that girl from House of Cards. First time I folded that hand. Wow. Ah, nice try, we'll Lock, hey. Don't you worry. You Coming up, we learned more than we ever cared to about Jessica Dolly's diet. I had 20 minutes, I had 20 minutes to go. This is carrots. For more from Poker Night, visit PokerNight.com or find us on Twitch, Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube, where you can see complete episodes and unedited live streams. Jessica, Jennifer Tilly wasn't with us at the Derby that year, was she? No, it was uh, Robert Williamson. She comes to the Derby without her boyfriend. Yep, he, I uh, hear, isn't a big fan of the Derby, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm not exactly That's sure. That's just what you heard, though. Yeah. What about you? Do you like Heard it to a friend? Lockie with Queen 10 makes it 250. It's a lot to travel. I'm not a horse guy. I don't know. You know, I'm not attracted to horses that much it's either. It's about all the pageantry. That's why we love it. It's also nice to like be on all the VIP lists. And Jessica, just, you are one of those rolling. crazy hats. Yeah. yeah. Got one of those limos. We get one of those stretch to. limos. We own 24 we 7. Use. Stock it with Dom Perignon and cigars. Sounds like a good time. No, Play Valhalla really, really Golf Course where they had the Ryder Cup. Sure. We just we feel like we, I feel like we own the city when we're down there. It really is a lot of fun. Like, yeah. Just all the shenanigans outside of the actual derby. The race is like two minutes see, long. Girls like the big the races. Yeah. Nobody cares about the race. The actual race, no. Oh. Except for all the people with, oh. you know, Sweeties. hundreds of thousands of dollars on it or more. You see me roll yeah, in the parks <laughs> when uh. Am I gateway? You were saying whatever. Last time I was at parks, I actually bet on a horse for the first time in my life. Check Did you win? Oh. Beckley ahead with a pair, up and down draw for Lockie. 20 minutes, 20 minutes to go. This is carrot. It's just, what is Jessica Dolly eating? I knew she was cool, but I didn't know she was Robocop. Whoa, I'm so hungry. is that baby food? My stomach is actually growling. I don't think you're allowed to call her baby. I don't eat baby food like on a regular basis, but when I'm on the go, it's a good substitute. Keeps my mind fed and fueled up, and I still get like my vegetables and my fruit and everything, and I can eat it whilst I'm sitting at the poker table versus like stuffed in my face with like chicken or something, right? By the way, Jessica, I put my phone on that charger for an hour, and no lie, it went from one to two percent. <laughs> We're trying a new outlet. <laughs> I don't know sick, what it is. It's a sick level. Check, check on it, could the turn. Be the, it could be the cord. Or actually, it might be the uh, the base. I think Bond the base Rivers is a six. Does Lockie have the know-how and the elbow grease to bluff with Queen High? Yeah. He does. Look. Tough call to make here with a pair of sixes. He's only beating bluffs, and there aren't that many, I don't think. Phil, oh, my back's a little sore, and I can spell profit with these chips. So maybe I'll call it a night. <laughs> <laughs> Phil, that's, that, that saying's meant for the guys that are up like 10 or 15,000. Yeah. Oh, 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 my girlfriend called. I gotta oh, I go. That. <laughs> that's always a classic. Oh. No, I gotta pick up my wife from work. Yeah. Where's she work at 3 in the morning? <laughs> what? Jeez. I always forget about that option. Just got real. Okay, Mike. Make it look good. And then fold. Move the chips around. Look at the cards one more time. Yep. Oh, there we go. Nah, I give it like a four out of ten. With that art. Would you show an eight of diamonds? Show That's what I had this. That's what oh, I had. I really wanted to move in. With that art. <laughs> You had the best hand, but yeah, it was definitely the best hand. That's how Blake Bond managed to defend Sparta with only 299 other guys. He is, he is winning, though, so. That's true. That would help. Yeah, if he's losing, I really can't do it. I'm just sitting here playing two hands in orbit. Is that a limp? Or a... I feel like okay. Beckley's limping here, so he can't get three back. It's a call, not a limp. And he can oh, yeah. probably see a cheaper a flop. No exciting spots. I'll put you on a club draw. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Well, Jessica raises it up to 250 with Queen Jack. 
I don't know. It would have been close. I think if it was Jessica Dolly, I'd have the baby food finished before I got to the table. I mean, that's just me. Just feels yeah, but you have to eat nice. four bites of food every four <laughs> minutes on our diet. Everyone criticizes when you play tight. I guess I didn't have these. I didn't expect a call there. Why you win. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should have raised. I thought it was going to be a limp fold. Beckley does get a semi-cheap flop. Pretty good flop for Josh Beckley. Just kidding. He is drawing dead to a chop or boating up. It's 350. I feel like you're always asking what I'm betting. I can't see the chips. Behind. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> Heads up. Can I pull the trigger? Yeah, that was tough. There go the chop opportunities. Beckley's going to need to hit a king or a 10. And Jessica gets to bet again with the flop nuts. No, I would have to show. Bet. I couldn't beat How it. much is that? Bet $25. I think Josh has got no choice but to call. He might raise, considering how wet this board is. It's pretty hard to put your opponent on a flop straight. Six in your face. <laughs> this guy. Just a call. She wants him hanging around as long as a king or a ten doesn't hit. Mr. Lock, I <laughs> oh no! Like an Amazon Prime package, he gets there. Apparently, that was cool. No, no, sorry, not as a needle. I don't know. No, I know. If you had lost like 10, 20K in that. So Jessica Dolly is going to lose at least 1,200 more dollars in this hand. Raise incoming. And he's repping only boats and bluffs with this raise. Interesting. And Jessica noticed his limp call before the flop. He would have been doing that with a lot of hands that are full houses now. Sometimes the same hand as hers. 9, 10, king, 10, queen, jack, all makes sense. Jessica does call. She ain't gonna like it. How do you run that good? Obviously, about the nuts. I almost uh, folded, but. What is it, 3375? Yeah, he, he's in the November 9, too. I know. <laughs> For a reason. Let's not forget this. I was gonna fold the river, but I couldn't put him on a big hand because he limped pre flop. So when he checked me on the river, I thought, really, he has like 9, 10 or king, 10. Up until that point, I played the hand 100% correct, in my opinion. I was just pretty dejected and pretty upset with myself for making that call on the river, but, you know, move on from it and try to learn from it. Nice hand. Bye. Thanks. Still, I want to pre-shake hands because I'm leaving if I lose this pot. <laughs> I'm going to pre-shake your hand. Phil, I have good news and bad news. Which do you want first? <laughs> Poker Night in America back at Seminole Hard Rock. Hollywood, Florida. Just to update you, blinds here are 25 and 50 in this No Limit Cash game. We're also playing with a $200 Annie on the button. Look at this, Bond 3-betting with 10-4 suited. I really was hoping this guy's name was pronounced Bone so I could say welcome to the Bone Zone. Sorry, it just doesn't work that way. If you defeat Bone, you can take his place in the Bone Throne. It's Bond. The bomb thron? No, no, that doesn't work. Okay. How are we looking? Like, uh... You're kind of supposed to continue there once you hit a pair, but maybe just switch to cheap showdown mode. Seems reasonable. Checks around. King on the turn. A really bad card for Bond Diddley over there. Yeah, it doesn't work either. No. I would entertain a Bond, Blake Bond. Shaken, not stirred. And Kniff and Bond both river trips. I want to see some action. Come on, guys. I think there's going to be action. We got two guys with trips and a guy with a worse hand that is leading into both of them. I think both guys with tens are going to have to just call. If you raise, it's very difficult to get called by a worse hand. I think Tilterelli is up a barrier, bro. Kniff giving this some serious thought. By the way, did you know Asher's uncle is one of the writers for Mystery Science Theater 3000? Someone else is trying to win while you're... 100% true. Big time inspiration for me. Watch out for snakes! It's a lot easier to win. But at least somebody's not even interested in it. I think a lot of people try Holy! That is a very disciplined fold, like wrong, but super disciplined. Well, I'm the worst. Do not expect that kind of discipline from the ugly truth over there. It's another Gerard Butler reference. Just calm down. But Bond calls with a worse hand than Kniff folded and wins the whole pot. I finally crossed over stuck the whole deck. Now I'm up like 800 bucks. It's nice. Don't spend it all in one place. Uh, isn't that the new term of like up stuff? Up stuff, yeah. No. No, now I'm at no, he, now he was up 600. Because I'm was at my highest. 600. If you get back to even, was, then you're up stuck 800. Yeah. If you're you get right it correct. Your journal. If you're, you know, up six and then you lose two, you're up stuck two. You're not up stuck four. You oh, take right. the amount you lost because you're trying to deliver no information oh, and that sorry. you're stuck. 
but you're up and <laughs> you can't, you know. So you're delivering the loss number. number. Oh, okay, no right? Mind. Doesn't that make more, more I crazy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I thought about it and I was like, well, yeah, if you're up stuck, Phil's missed the whole round. You might as well just communicate yeah. nothing. Yeah, just, of course. Up yeah, stuck. Well, how much you up stuck? 2200. That just means you're down 2200 from your peak. You haven't communicated anything. This up stuck thing is pure genius. I hate being up stuck. I hate it. I'd rather just be stuck stuck and up stuck. There needed to be a name for that, and now there is. Mm -hmm. I'd rather be up stuck, I think. Uh, maybe <laughs> what does that one term mean? That you're up at one point, but you're not up your peak. Uh, so you're still up, yeah, but you're up not. Stuck. Okay. You're your peak, <laughs> is it just me, or do poker players make up more terms than any other genre of people? I'm only in one so genre of people, so I don't know. <laughs> they make up more than, like, fraternity brothers, I swear. <laughs> I've coined a few. Lay some on me. Congratulations. Like when you have a friend who finishes in like third or fourth place. Got it. All it takes is a chip and a chair. That's one I came up with in 2009. I think that was somebody else. Getting to the end. I beg to differ. Yeah, Asher Kniff made another big full with a strong hand. Nitty nitty bang bang. You eating all that health food over there, Ash. How's your prep for the November 9 going? Mom? Stay strong. <laughs> Pretzels and beer. He's good. He's good. You say it's strong to quite strong. Oh, look, at this. look at this, look at this how people about, like to put in the purple chip. Today. When I finally played, I, I get my best hand in a long time. I'm gonna share it with you in full. This was like, I was finally ready to do something, right? You get a little piece of it, and then it just melts away. It's like one of those melty moments. Is that queen three again? So Blake Bond <laughs> makes it 3,000, and now it's back to Torelli. We haven't seen Torelli do a lot of losing on Poker Night in America. You want Because he just knows what the H is up. <laughs> he is keeping it 100. Yeah, to mush him up into baby food. Look at this. Oh, yeah, well, mush him. Yeah, 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 yeah mush him up, put him on a grinder. Add some, like, apricots or something. Like, yeah. you know? They're organic. It's a high tarnation. It's going to hurt. Secret safe for Organically me. salted. <laughs> <laughs> I could wrap him in bacon. I don't want it. Why don't you that to her and not to the rest of us, you ass? Check. She's a girl. Okay. So why didn't you offer Joe any? Ouch. <laughs> wow, Josh just cracked his first joke in three vagina. years. <laughs> oh, we missed it. He basically said that Joe has a vagina. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. I like it. First, first joke Good joke. Bond's got the advantage of being the aggressor here, and he's in position. But I, I still like joke. Alec. It's irrelevant. He's getting seventh, and I'm getting first, so. <laughs> Josh is like, good luck, idiot. I'm gonna smoke you. I like my spot more than I like your spot. Of course. Torelli calls. It literally. Here comes the turn. I agree with you. Okay, maybe now I like Bond. Check to Bond again. I'm not sure a bet would get Alec to fold much better than a seven, so I think Bond might slow down a little yeah, bit. Yeah, that really counted. That's where I went with it. Yeah, I like check. A Show me a river, please. That was not what I was thinking. No? Mm -mm. So a pair of seven's good. Yeah, of course. I have no idea what Alec's gonna do here, by the way, but I know whatever it is, <laughs> it's correct. <laughs> Yeah. Whatever he's doing is what you should do. Absolutely. 10,500. Phil's wow. right now online looking at strategy for 15. Bang in this river. <laughs> and now that he's done it, I can tell you this is correct because he's correctly identified that his hand is no good at showdown. And that Bond has got something marginally can fold. No, you would never want to say But that would probably beat Ace Queen when they table their hands. I feel like I have the best hand. I still well, feel like I'm going to throw it away. No, it's an absolutely massive to. bet on a board where it's hard to be huge. I mean, I got a pair and I hate folding pairs. Like, Folding socks. Folding pairs, folding socks. What's this guy talking about laundry so much for? Alec Torelli is on a whole different poker level than 98% of the players on this planet. I really felt like I read the situation right. I had a plan in trapping him the whole time. I, I thought he was really weak pre-flop. And on the river, I felt like he actually made a pair when I thought that I could represent a hand like aces, kings, or queens by betting. And I just thought that he would fold to a big bet. And so I just put him in a tough spot and, and it worked out for me. Nice hand. <laughs> Thanks. We get it, Alec. You're good at poker. Go. And we come back. Phil Locke uses words. I'm the one surfing my subconsciousness and consciousness and the whole mess that's happening. Closed captioning is brought to you as a public service by Poker Night in America. Here is where we're at for day two here at Seminole Hard Rock. Blake Bond making the most of his first trip to Poker Night in America, up over 12K. Not a lot of winners on that list, but you know who is a winner? You, the people at home. <laughs> Drive safe, everybody. Hey, no, safe, where are you going? Where are you going, dude? We still got the Phil Lock Supercut. 
All right, I'll stay for that. I don't think you zoom up. There you see, check it. King high. King what? Show. And he, it was like right there. It was the same time. If you're water and it's the, you know, uh, 10,000 years before uh, Christ and you're a water molecule in the Grand Canyon, you're not thinking, hey, oh, I'm going to etch away this rock. You know, you're just hanging out living. It's like when the Romulans and the, and the, uh, the humans make a deal about in my paradigm, I'm wearing goggles. I can't see hardly at all, right? But it's fun to wear goggles when you play poker, so who cares if you can see or not? It's like Douglas Adams and used to wear the, one of his characters wore the Joe Janta 200 super chromatic peril sensitive sunglasses, and all they were were sunglasses that turned instantly black at the hint of any danger. That way, if you're about to crash into a planet, at least you don't feel the fear of it, you know? So that's half the goggle love right there. Well, when the Romulans broke the intent of the treaty, for, this, for the peace zone. And it was for Captain Picard or whoever, maybe it was the other guy, Kirk, that had to make the decision. Well, they didn't break the rule, but they broke the spirit of the thing. That could have, in theory, been generated in that half to another second. Maybe micro Twilight Zone door shifted it by a half a second. The time compressions uh, aspect of it was just, it was just, a, it was like in a because I'm the one surfing my subconsciousness and consciousness and the whole mess that's happening. That's robbing your consciousness of, you know, precious mind units, whatever, for dancing here. So I just try not to get involved in the side stuff so I can focus on, you know. Whew, Take a breath. Yeah, getting to. <laughs> you ever get done listening to somebody talk and you have no idea what they just said? Tuesday. <laughs>